Hi, I'm Paul. Hi, I'm Caleb. Hi, I'm Brayden. <laughs> and welcome back to Recipe for Fun. Today, we are going to check up on our last project, which uh, we did about, we started about a week ago, was our pickled carrots, our fermented dill carrots. And we're gonna see how they're doing, and we're gonna do a little taste test reaction today on Recipe for Fun. Now, if you look at these jars here, you can see that uh, this kind of cloudiness is, is actually pretty normal. And if we get real up close here, you should be able to see that the, the bubble's coming up here. Okay, so the cloudiness is normal. They're fermenting nicely. Now, I've smelled these a little bit uh, coming out at the top, but when you smell these, somebody asked me, how do you know if they've gone bad or if bad bacteria has grown in them, if they've spoiled? You'll know because they'll smell like garbage. If your ferment smells like garbage, do not eat it. It should smell fresh, fragrant, and delicious. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open these up, and we're gonna do a little taste test reaction for you. So here we go. And right off the bat here, I'm just gonna do a little, now they smell very nice. And we'll try a couple, we'll try one or two from each jar. Little tongs here. I can see right off the bat here that the dill seed, dill seed I used to make a little bit of a mess. That might be why people use the dill weed instead. Okay, so we're gonna cut up these carrots and we're gonna taste them for you. So let's set these aside while we do this. Here we go. Don't we're gonna suck the air out of those in just a minute here. After we're done at the end. Why can't they have any air? Well, they can't have air in them because we want it to be a sealed environment without oxygen from the outside. So, uh, if we have oxygen from the outside in there, it could grow mold. Do you want oh. mold on your carrots? No. Okay. That's probably pretty good. So I'm just gonna give you guys one from each of these. Are the seeds on it good? Yeah, they're just dill seeds. You can pick them off if you want. Okay, guys. So, pick up one. Let's see, this was from, we'll say that's, that's from this one and this is from the other one. Okay. So we're all gonna take a bite in one. Two, three. Mmm. Mmm, those are just about perfect. Oh, those are really good. I only, like... They're not very spicy at all, are they? The, I only tasted the spice. Like, like the first seconds. taste is like spice and it goes to regular dill pickled carrots. So yeah. it kind of goes like this and then melts out. I think we could even let these go for a few more days. It's only been about a week. I could let them go for another <clears throat> another three or four days maybe and, and they'd be perfect. Those are really good. Did you try the other one already? You couldn't wait. Okay, Caleb. You and me, we're going to do the second one here. Gotta wait. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Mmm. Wow. That's super good. Really crunchy too, huh? Okay, which one was your favorite? The first one or the second one? I think... First. Both of them, you think the first one? It had more taste. It had a little bit more tang to it. So I think these definitely could go for another few days, uh, up to maybe next Friday. And uh, and they get a little bit more of the different flavors all throughout the vegetable. 
So these guys mentioned before that we need to suck the air out of these, and so I'm gonna let each of them do this. So with these easy fermenter lids I have from Nourished Essentials, it comes with this pump that I mentioned before. We open these up and we let the air in, and so now we just wanna give it a couple pumps. This bottom part fits right over that, and then you can give it a couple pumps to suck the air out. And it's pretty cool, you can see when you suck the air, a lot of bubbles come up from the ferment too. Okay, can I try All right, this Brayden, you're gonna go first. So just do two real good pumps. All right. Okay, Caleb, you wanna do one? Okay, just set it, oh, set it right on there. There you go. Now give it two good pumps up. All right, one more. Okay, I think we'll be good. Okay, and there we go. So these are ready to go back I'm gonna put them on the countertop for another few, day, a few days, and uh, they'll get a little bit more flavorful, a little bit more fermented. When they're done, and I failed to mention this last time, I started to say it, but then I didn't. When they're done fermenting, I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator. And what's going to happen is it'll be too cold in the refrigerator for the ferment, for the bacteria to keep going. So it'll stop fermenting when I put them in, in the refrigerator, and then we'll probably eat them pretty quickly. They won't keep forever in the refrigerator, but they will keep for quite a while, but I'm, I'm sure we'll eat them up before that. Um, Dad, can I have an one of those? You sure can, buddy. Thank you for coming back and watching this update on our fermented carrots, our dill carrots, and I hope you enjoyed again this recipe for fun. Thanks. <laughs>